Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeannie. Today we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be talking about a, this is not sponsored by the way, because it already sounds like it is. <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing a at-home hair dyeing kit from e Salon. But if you're new here, my name is Jeannie. I do videos on all things cute, and I feel like this kind of does fit with the theme, because you know, having a nice hair color can be cute, right? Ideally, if it comes out good, which we're going to get into that. I do videos on all things cute, whether that's Squishmallows, Squishables, Build a Bear Lounge, Fly Sanrio, Hot Topic. If it's cute, it's going up on this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like that kind of thing and let's get started so like i said e-salon is just an at-home service where they promise you like salon quality hair products that you can use to dye your hair of course i always suggest going to professional when i was blonde i did that when i had my blue strip i did that even though that was like 170 dollars for just like one strip of hair. I 100% support professional hairstylists. I think, especially when you're going lighter, it's so tricky, so much can go wrong. So I definitely am someone who typically goes to a salon to get things done. But we're in a recession right now and I wanted a little change. I didn't want anything super crazy. I wanted kind of just a nice reddish brown. Originally, I wanted something more vibrant, kind of like the L'Oreal high color highlight dyes that are typically used on TikTok, on YouTube. I wanted something like that. And then I was like, well, let me try e-salon first just because the first box is super cheap so you go online you do a quiz and basically they give you your results and they kind of suggest some things i will say the customer service is really nice where you do get to talk directly to a person especially if you have questions or if you're unhappy with your hair color the price of the first box is always going to be the cheapest sometimes there's a promo and you can get it for 11 dollars. the only thing i don't like and i didn't script this video and i probably should have so i could be a little bit more articulate with what i'm saying the problem is if you're going lighter because i think they only ever do 20% developer so color doesn't lift color so that that can be a little bit tricky if your goal is to go blonde or something like that I think you're gonna run into a hard issue or even me with that red it was my first time doing it this is my second time I just did it a couple days ago um, and it's very subtle it's very very subtle so if you want kind of a more intense red I do not think e-salon is the way to go even though they tell you like oh email us and we'll customize this da -da -da -da. I kind of feel like there are limits to their services especially if you're only using 20% developer I've been looking at every single review I could possibly find on all platforms so say e-salon is better for if you're going darker or if you already have a red like I've seen a lot of like natural redheads or people who have dyed their hair prior to using e-salon and then they use e-salon to maintain it and you see really good results but if you look at their social media you don't really see anyone with dark brown hair going to a vibrant red and I'm not talking necessarily like a fire engine red but even just like a subtle reddish auburn I don't really see so I had a feeling that I was setting myself up for failure I had a good experience like I still liked it it wasn't super noticeable as it continued to fade it got to a nicer color but if I show you the pictures which I am going to show you you could barely see it you could barely barely see it and now you could see it a little bit more I'm gonna get, I'm gonna bend down a little. You can kind of see it. I'm not even sure if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's definitely a little bit more vibrant than it was before. Pretty much you can see it mostly in the section that I already had pre-lightened hair. This is the last bit left of my blue streak that I got done at the salon. Um, so you can see that color there. It would have been nice if all of my hair was this color, but I knew that I probably wasn't going to get that result, that I should just go for the high color high lift or a bleach bath and then do overtone. I love overtone. I've always had overtone. So I knew that was going to happen, but for some reason, I still really like it. And right now it's dark. It's going to get a little bit lighter the more I wash it because that's what ended up happening with the first time I did it. The first time I did it, it was very dark except for the roots, of course. The roots are always going to take. I had kind of a hot root situation. And as I continued to wash it, it got lighter. And then people started finally realizing, oh, did you dye your hair? Did you dye your hair? I was getting those comments all the time because at first it wasn't noticeable my hair was super super dark except for the roots and now I feel like it's a little bit more noticeable like a little like slight auburny color you're better off I think going somewhere else the thing I really liked about Isalan though is their customer service I think they're very nice and very responsive I think everything that comes in the kit is super helpful like the gloves and the way everything's packaged is kind of nice can you just get that on your own at a cheaper price maybe yeah especially if you're going darker like for someone who wants to go like jet black I don't think you really need e-salon for that. I think you could just get the box dye from the from the store. I really don't know if e-salon's ingredients are really that much better than box dye that you find in person. Of course, they're going to tell you it is, but I don't really know. The reason I say you should probably just get it at a store is because it's cheaper. Full price, I think it's like $26 a month for, or not a month. You, you can decide how frequently you want them to send you boxes. So that's why I say that if you're going to go dark, 
it, it might just be cheaper long term to just get it elsewhere even from Sally's where you're gonna get a big bottle of developer that you continue to use and stuff like that that's the only thing that I don't really like but like I said everything that comes in that box is really nice like it's very well thought out they even have a sticker for you to attach the instructions onto the wall so you're not dirtying yourself up it comes with like the barrier cream and a little wipe to remove anything that might have gotten on your face when I did it the first two times I was super messy with it I don't really care if I get hair dye on my face because I find that it always wipes off very very easily I and the staining with my hands as well like to me it's not a really big deal the only thing I will say is when you're picking a color they kind of don't really explain this well some things are blocked off because you're not gonna be able to reach that color which I think it's good I think it's good that there's transparency there and that Isalon is warning you hey this is not an achievable result but there's some stuff that I, I chose a different... Okay, long story short, I chose this color. And Isol on the first time around said, Oh, but your picture, because you can submit a picture, it looks darker. This is what they told me. So I was like, oh, okay, is, are you saying that this color... I might not be able to lift to this color? If that's the case, then I'll choose this color. That's the first time I used it. It came out very dark, barely noticeable. So then I messaged them saying, Hey, I'm not really happy with my color. I want a little, a little bit more of a vibrant red or like the picture. And they're like, okay, let's, I'll recommend you this color. Which is the color I chose originally when they had told me that they weren't sure I was gonna be able to lift like that so so why did why did I go through that like why did you tell me that I couldn't get there and then that's what you're recommending me my second time around again I didn't like that it didn't make sense I mean I get it but like you're not it just didn't make sense as to why I wanted that color initially you're telling me I probably can't lift to it I, I she didn't tell me that but that's what I was I was getting from her message so then when I changed colors she's like okay great I think this is a better fit and then when I complain that I don't like it that it's not vivid enough then you give me the color that I originally chose does that make sense I'm hoping I'm describing this well I have to talk a little bit faster because my camera is overheating that's what ended up happening and that's the color that I'm ending up with now I like it very subtle ended up doing a different email address I'll be honest with you so that I could get that $11 rate again because they had offered to fix it for free and I had been just like no forget it this was like back in September I was like no 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 it's okay like I appreciate it never mind I just want to cancel my whole account and then I thought about it and I'm like oh let me just give it another shot uh, but then I would I did have to pay out of pocket for it so I ended up using a different email address which I felt kind of guilty about I also tried out their rinse which is nice it's like a red rinse super watery I mean I guess it makes sense because it's called a rinse but I'm so used to using overtone red that I was super confused as to why I was just like falling everywhere but you apply that in the shower typically with color depositing shampoos or any kind of semi-permanent I usually apply it on dry hair instead to suck it up I haven't used that red with this but it wasn't noticeable with darker hair it wasn't I just would put it on this little strip because this is what's gonna fade the fastest because it's the lightest hair underneath it super duper light but yeah that's what I got that's my results from e salon let me know how you feel about them have you had any good or bad experiences I might try them one more time just because I do really like this color and I know you're like what color Janie your hair looks dark brown but I swear, I swear there's a little bit of a tint there and like I said when I continue to wash it I think it's gonna be even more noticeable as it's fading away I probably will be doing a different red outside of this like I'm probably gonna strip all this color because I have the Malibu color remover which is very famous salon salon product I got it on eBay though but it's a salon product that is really good at getting your hair back to square one and then maybe I will do a bleach bath or something I'm not really sure where I want to go with this but it's been fun to try it out for myself like I, I've been really liking it and I feel like if you follow up with a really good conditioner then you're fine I get more damage from heat than I do from bleach and lightener yeah if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it I will see you soon with another video let me know if you dye your hair and if you do do you use box dye I'm not I'm not ashamed or I hold no negativity towards people who use box dye I mean I get why stylists wouldn't recommend it especially if you're gonna be going to them for a color correction because color corrections are so much more expensive when I was getting my blonde hair I was paying like 400 or 500 dollars every couple months especially because blonde hair is super high maintenance do I think it's worth it yes but that's not even including tip which is over like 50 dollars so it was just a lot and I think one day I will go back to blonde but I've just been wanting to try like different things you know I don't really know but if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it and until next time bye